the al qassam brigade the military wing of hamas began using larger warheads that caused greater damage and had great destructive power these missiles were also confirmed by israel defense forces spokesman jonathan conricus however it is said that the iron dome could not stop these missiles fired it is also said to be made with the advanced technology of iran even it is also said that the main reason for this increase in tension is america it is said that america chose a side in this incident and chose its side in international justice the country that came up with this idea was the chinese we see that israel intervened in the palestinian incident in china right now so who gave the new missiles fired can the iron dome stop these new missiles what is china doing in the region let's start examining Is Ad Din Al Qassam Brigades, Hamas military wing, launched May 10, seven missiles toward Jerusalem, carrying high explosive warheads with a range of 120 kilometers in response to Israeli actions in Jerusalem, settler incursions into Al Aqsa Mosque, and pressure on residents of Sheikh Jarrah to leave their homes. Meanwhile, the Israeli army stated that it had only intercepted one missile and was forced to evacuate the Knesset building. On May 11, Two Israelis were killed and 60 others wounded when Hamas launched 137S-40 missiles at the cities of Ashkelon and Ashdod, with one directly hitting a building. On the same night, central Israel was subjected to the heaviest bombardment since the escalation began, with dozens of rockets falling in Tel Aviv and Gush Dan, killing one person, wounding dozens and hitting the main oil storage tank. On May 12, Hamas fired SH-85 missiles at Tel Aviv and Ben Gurion Airport, with a range of 85 kilometers. On May 13, it fired an Ayish missile with large destructive force and a range of 250 kilometers toward Israel's Ramon Airport. In the statements made by the former leader of the Qassam Brigade, Hamas is relying more on locally produced weapons than in past conflicts. With each new conflict, he said, Hamas reveals more of its locally manufactured rockets and missiles whose range, accuracy, shooting power and destructive ability are proving to be effective. He claimed that Hamas combat and missile capabilities in 2021 have increased by 20 to 30 times compared to 2014. This enabled it to fire an increasing number of rockets within a few minutes, he added. Troops currently in Hamas are known to use old missile stocks. However, they have announced that new missiles will also be used when necessary. We now know that some Arab countries are trying to smuggle weapons to Palestine. Arms aid is currently being provided continuously from the Red Sea, Sinai, Sudan and Libya. It is thought that only Iran could produce such a missile, even if the Al Qassam Brigade said that these S-40 missiles brought in at the moment were made by us. There were two reasons why Hamas rockets were hitting Israeli targets accurately this time around. The first was the simultaneous launch of dozens of rockets, and the second was the use of guided missiles to hit tall Israeli buildings. According to official information spread by Israeli officials, slightly more than 2,800 rockets were fired from Gaza towards Israel, of which 430 exploded in Gaza. Israel claims that these 430 missiles killed more than 20 Palestinians. Citing Israeli intelligence estimates, the Israeli Jerusalem Post wrote May 11, Hamas has dozens of rockets with a range of 100 to 160 kilometers which can cover most of the country even up to Haifa and further north. According to the newspaper, Hamas is believed to have in its possession hundreds of rockets with a range of 70 to 80 kilometers which can hit three critical targets, namely Tel Aviv and the surrounding cities, Ben Gurion Airport and Jerusalem. Hamas, according to estimates, also has rockets that can reach large cities on the coast and in the center of the country including Rishon Letzion, Rehovot and Beit Shemesh. The paper continued that Hamas' large arsenal of 5,000 to 6,000 rockets with a range of 40 to 45 kilometers can reach Beersheba, Ashdod in the south, Ashkelon and the entire Gaza corridor. Hamas, according to the newspaper, also owns a wide range of thousands of mortars that can strike Israeli villages along the Gaza border. Hamas began developing its rocket industry in 2001. The first rocket Qassam-1 was launched toward Darrow with a range of 2 to 3 kilometers and a limited explosive warhead. In the following years, the most advanced Qassam rockets with a range of 17 kilometers appeared. Following the Israeli withdrawal from Gaza in 2005, Hamas had greater leeway to manufacture rockets, and it tried many of its missile systems during the wars of 2008, 2012 and 2014 including the M-75 missile with a range of 75 kilometers which was first launched in 2012. 
During the 2014 war, Hamas launched several missiles, including the Sejil missile, which reached the city of Lod with a range of 55 km. The J-80 missile was launched toward Tel Aviv with a range of 80 km and the R-160 missile hit Haifa with a range of 160 km. Rami Abu Zabeda, a Palestinian military expert and writer for Al Jazeera, told Al Monitor, Hamas development of rockets is not only limited to their range, as it also affects the rocket density. The movement is not capable of firing multiple rocket-propelled grenades with destructive power simultaneously. He noted, Hamas often relies on its own efforts to develop rockets with an occasional recourse to Iran's technical expertise. Hamas has a rocket manufacturing and development unit that includes teams of engineers. It had expected an Israeli response to its rocket attacks, but it is waging the military round in a calm and balanced way and with calculated tactics, as it harbors qualitative rocket capability surprises. Hamas has a number of engineers involved in developing its rocket arsenal. One of them was Jamal al-Zibda, who was assassinated by Israel on May 12 in the Gaza Strip. He was a lecturer at the Islamic University in the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Fadi al-Bach, an engineer, was also assassinated by the Mossad in Malaysia in 2018. He was one of the engineers who attempted to develop a system for Hamas rockets to evade Israeli anti-missile systems like the Iron Dome. According to official information spread by Israeli officials, slightly more than 2,800 rockets were fired from Gaza towards Israel, of which 430 exploded in Gaza. Israel claims that these 430 missiles killed more than 20 Palestinians. On May 15, we heard that Iranian transport aircraft delivered short- and medium-range missiles to pro-Palestinian groups in the Arab country, according to information we received from sources in Syria. The proof of this is that one missile crashed into Syria and the other two are known to have crashed into empty and deserted areas. Syria fired a missile at Israel in the face of this situation. It is known that these new missiles fired came from Iran. Iran's indirect involvement is not a secret, especially Tehran has made it clear to the world that one of the targets of the Iranian people should be the Israeli destruction. It can be said that Iran has brought the best systems it has to Palestine right now. China intervened in the Israeli-Palestinian affairs. China is also involved, although it is far away in location. According to Chinese officials, the formula of two states, two peoples, is the way to end both sides for years between Palestinians and Israelis. This idea was published by the Chinese State Council member and Foreign Minister Wang Yi. In addition, China blames the United States for growing tension in the Middle East and accuses Washington of standing on the opposite side of international justice. What is happening in the area? The violence began after the focus fell on controversial judicial and political actions over the Palestinian-populated Sheikh Hara district of East Jerusalem. An Israeli court initially ruled that Palestinians should be evicted from the neighborhood and be populated with Israelis. A hearing on the eviction followed, but it never ended last Sunday and was postponed. On Monday, Jerusalem was subjected to a brief rocket attack by Al-Quds and Hamas with a request on the eviction decision. Israel did not comply with the Palestinians, which led to a retaliatory strike and a rocket fire between the two countries for the second day in a row. According to a field source, Israel has involved fighter jets and tanks in the conflict, which are hitting 130 targets in the Gaza Strip. These goals are related to the Hamas movement. According to the Israeli authorities, these goals are also associated with terrorist organizations. The international community welcomes the actions of Israelis and Palestinians, but as statements from both sides make clear, both sides may reach no agreement soon. We have come to the end of the video for now. You can support us by liking the video, and by subscribing, you can more easily keep track of new videos. I wish everyone a happy day. See you.